This video is supported by Profit Accumulator. Profit Accumulator helps you to earn extra money by doing something called match betting. Match betting isn't gambling. And when you do it properly, and I mean properly, you can't lose. So get involved right now. Click the link in the description and sign up to Profit Accumulator right now. Hi, welcome to AFTV. You have tuned into the West Brom versus Arsenal preview show with myself, Cecil G. And I've got we've got James B. It's a new year. 2021. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy new year. How are you feeling? You good? Yeah, good. New yeah. year. New new mic. New I know I mentioned it on the um what was it, AFTV picks. But you know yeah. what? I've had so much grief from everyone in the comments about like Robbie, get him a new mic, get him a new webcam, get him new everything. That I'm like, I'm I'm sort of we're, we're fixing it, we're getting there. Yeah, yeah. But this I need to this thing keeps rising. Like I put it here, but like yeah. by the end of the show, it's like up here. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like just sort of making its way up. So yeah, we'll get there. We're getting there. It's a work in no, progress. That, that looks proper though, it looks cool, but look, it's rising now. You can see it, it just doesn't. That's so weird. I don't know. What that is. Is. Right, but right. Otherwise, all, all good. <laughs> it, it, it's cool, though. It is cool, though. I'm going to be honest. I might have to look at getting a mic that doesn't self rise, but um, it does look <laughs> good. I can hear you as well. Nice and self, self raising mics. Self raising um, mics. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> you can see it won't stop moving. Right. Hey, that is that is funny. I think you might have to just, just to hold it down. That is quality. Right. Um, so West Brom, West Brom today. I know you've been, we've been doing some stats, um, some stat grinding this morning. Um, I just want to start with the, I do want to just start with some just quickly, before, ones that haven't got, we haven't got pop, that can pop up on the screen quickly. I just want to talk about the goals scored first half and second half from both teams. Uh, just to begin with, nice little, Little early, early stat for you. Yeah. So Arsenal set eight. They they normally score seven goals in the first half, and they've scored nine goals in the second half. Okay, so that's us, West Brom. Um, they have scored seven in the first half and four in the second. So they tend to score in the first half, which I've been criticising Arsenal for doing. I think we need to do that more for us to win the game. I think us scoring in the first half is is key. I know we didn't do it in our last game. Um, however, we did win the game. But I just feel like for us to get to start off fast and get ahead of a team, I think it's better when we score first. Um, we're yeah. very there's a there's an obvious that I always talk about that when we concede first, we find it really difficult to get back into the game. So I think it's it's vital for us to score first. Um when um against West Brom. I think so. I'm gonna I'm gonna I, I'm gonna... I think I agree what? with you. I mean, um what we saw against what we saw with Leeds, this mic's moving mad. Oh my god. Okay, let's put it there. So what what we learned about so sort of when when Leeds beat them five nil was that essentially um, it was an own goal that that broke the deadlock and after mm. that West Brom were forced to open up and Leeds picked them off. Then yeah, there yeah. were those teams West Brom that you know what if you score early you might beat them three or four nil, um, yeah. but if you don't you know they will frustrate and they'll make it very difficult for you. You know I know that people can say well Liverpool scored early and, and but that was different because I think. The, the calibre of Liverpool is that even if you do go a goal or two down, you're not going to change how you play. You're, you're ultimately going to sit back and sort of try and soak up the pressure and hope you get a moment like they did, which is you know, sneak a point. So I think this could be a really difficult game. And you're right I to agree. point out that, you know, we, we need to start games faster. The Chelsea game, great. But it's not good enough doing it once every now and again, you know. It's, it's got to be yeah. a consistent thing. Um, I think a lot of us were left very frustrated during the Brighton game, especially that first half, where we stopped and thought, you know, well, after what we did against Chelsea, how are we not starting this game in that same way? What, why can we not just do that? Um, so, yeah, right to point it out. I think it's going to be very interesting to see how both teams um, start in that first 10, 20 minutes tomorrow. Yeah, I, I, I also, just on that, I think you said it there, I think it's going to be difficult when we play them. I really do think it's going to be difficult. I think um, Big Sam, I think he's going to come and just keep it very tight. I think that's, I expect that against Leeds, actually. However, I think it, it just didn't work and they got really got exposed, West Brom. So, um, but I, knowing the, what, what, what West Brom have done, their previous um, games against big teams like the Cities and Liverpool's become their 1-1 draw. So, I mean, I think it's not going to be as easy as... as um, as we may we we may think. Um mm. I can see yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Right, well, I was gonna move. I was gonna move. <laughs> gonna move. Sorry, I'm laughing, everybody. Everyone watching right now, I'm having a good <laughs> Robbie. He's just popped in and he's just popped out. I was gonna say it would be nice to put, put him into our um, our preview show, but he's just popped back out. So <laughs> we'll move on. Let's get. Um, let's just keep it up. Yeah, let's get into let's the stats. Let's stat. so take your mind back onto the game. <laughs> um, here's the first one. West Brom were unbeaten in their last three Premier League home games against Arsenal. They've won two and drawn one of them. I mean, that's not great, is it? No, not at all. I mean, I, I didn't realise we found going to the Hawthorne so difficult. I mean, in fairness, we've not seen them for a while. Mm. That might be why I forgot. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. It might be, yeah, yeah we've been here a long time. That's, that's not a great stat for us. But again, mm. every every week, James, when you read out some stats, I'm like, oh, this isn't... This, this isn't great, but you know, I don't know why we bother still reading them. To be honest, I, I hear that. You know what? I feel, like I feel like they're interesting. They don't dictate how it's going to go. I do. I do think they're interesting. Though. I do read them and go, "Oh wow, I, I didn't realize we were either that bad or, or, or I'm longing for how good we used to be." <laughs> yeah, let's to go to the next fair, one. Oh, go on. To be fair to that, sorry, to be fair to that one, like Bright, Brighton were our bogey team, and we we overcome that. So, Very true. Yeah. like you know, I mean, we're, we're kind of on a Kind of on a bit of a bit of um I don't know what's, what's the word for it. We're on a bit of a, a rally, bit of a bit of a run. We've got to try and keep it up and just keep going. We can beat out our bogey teams and hopefully 2021. <laughs> I do not want to say it's our year. Definitely want to stay away from those words. I said that in 2020. So uh but just hopefully it can continue, you know? Right, let's look at yeah, the next yeah. stat. Next one. Arsenal scored in all of their 24. 24- Premier League meetings with West Brom, the best 100% scoring record by one side against an opponent in the competition's history. So, wow. history wow. dictates so, we're going to score in this match. Yeah, do you know what? I actually think it's going to be a quite high-scoring game. Really? Uh, yeah, I am. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm, being, I'm being a bit, um, I don't know, optimistic here, but mm. I think it will be quite a high, um, yeah, a high-scoring game. I think I feel like West Brom they do concede, they do concede a lot of go- a lot of goals and. Um, I've got the clean sheets here uh, just to back that one up. They ha- they've only got three clean sheets throughout the whole league. So they are 18. Oh, no, sorry. Look, forgive me for that. Two clean sheets um, in the in the, in the the season this season. So they, they're very low on that, the 18th. And I feel like, yeah, we're going to be the ones to unlock it. I think Lacazette's in form. I think Aubameyang's due a goal. Um, yeah. If Martinelli plays or if he starts, I feel like Kim and Saka might, may need a rest. But um, if he does start, then... I'm expecting goals from from them as well. So yeah, man, I think it's going to be a quite high scoring game. If I'm completely honest, we'll we'll, we'll chat about them all in. You know, there's some big questions around them to answer in a sec. Um, let's have a look at this next one. Arsenal have won just one of their last six Premier League away games against promoted sides, drawing two and losing three. With that victory coming at Fulham on the opening day this season. I mean. I remember that. That was a nice three 0 I remember thinking we've got our Arsenal back, and yeah, I was. was <laughs> that was it for me. We really flattered to deceive sometimes. Um, <laughs> that's not a great record against promoted sides. I mean, with all due respect, like when the fixture list comes out, you look for a few things. When are you playing the big six? When's the North London derby? And also, when when can, where can you pick up points? Where have you got those three points that you think are in the bag? Those home games against the newly promoted sides w- would have been that once upon a time. And now here we are thinking, you know, they're not gimmies anymore. In fairness, I don't think gimmies have been a thing from, from the championship promoted clubs for a while. Yeah. Certainly hasn't been for Arsenal. Um, and, you know, I can't believe we're going into a game. When I say I can't believe, as in I can believe it in the context of now, but you go back a few years ago even, you know, going, I mean this with all due respect, the fact that we're not confident going into this game, it's not right really, is it? No, I I just, I did say, didn't I? I did say, boy, it was going to be a high scoring game, Cecil. And I just said earlier that Sam Adas is going to be tight and keep it compact. And I just, I kind of contradict myself here. I, I think it's one of those that if we get, if we get the early goal, which I, I think I, I think it's been vital and important for us for the whole of the, um, uh, the season, actually, if we get that early goal, I think we will open them up, and it will, it will force West Brom to to try and play against us. This is what it is. It's got to force them to try and attack, and that's like what leads exactly what leads it in their in their big defeat against um, their big story win against West Brom. They open it creates space for us to open and exploit. So, yeah, yeah I mean, 
We will see. We will see. The next one. West Brom have lost their last three home Premier League games by an aggregate score of 1-13. to Wow. Wow. There you go. There you go. That, that, I, didn't, I didn't know that was, that was coming. That shows that there, there's definitely goals. There's definitely goals there. We, we goals. lost We lost four home games in a row. I mean, you know, I'm not going to start going in on other teams for their home records. And yeah, if there's yeah. one manager who is capable of turning that around, it's Sam Allardyce. Yeah, um, yeah. Shall we look at West Brom's last six games, actually? And what's fascinating about them is three of them come under Allardyce three of them come under Billich. I'll bring them up here because I think if there's one set of results that just shows you just quite how weird the Premier League is, especially this year, I feel like this really sums it up. Have a little look here. So West Brom's last game was obviously that 5-0 defeat to Leeds. You can see at the bottom there under Sam Allardyce. But they did draw 1-1 at Liverpool. Allardyce's first game was a 3-0 defeat to Villa, albeit they did have a man sent off. And before that, the game that got Billich the sack was a 1-1 draw at City. I'm not sure quite what they were hoping for. Um, and then they, they lost at Newcastle 2-1 and they lost 5-1 at home to Palace. I mean, y- you've got to say, how do you even begin to to take that in? Where mm. do we rank? I'll bring those up. Are we, are we a City or a Liverpool? Or are we a Leeds, Villa, Newcastle, Palace? Because in the table... In the table, yeah, we're we're we're, we're Newcastle, <laughs> Leeds, and Palace, but so we can um, be confident <laughs> in the table, yeah. But yeah. I don't know; it's difficult because it's difficult because the team are probably going to be more up for playing us and think, you know what, this could be this could be a game that we might slip up on as Arsenal, as Arsenal Football Club. Um, and the West Brom players may see that and think, you know what, I'm confident going into this game, which I think they probably felt against Liverpool and City. But like you said, if if we're looking at where we're ranked, boy, we're, we're, we're kind of the lower, the, the mid-table team. So we should, we should be confident. I, I think we should, I think we should be confident. Due, no, just due to our form right now. I know, yeah, due to our form at the moment. We, we always do this, right? We always do this. But the reality is that it kind of all this stuff we're reading out and i, I can't believe it's our show so i shouldn't really be saying this but it kind of means nothing <laughs> you know I mean? all these yeah. stats all these previous results i think that there's one there's one stat actually that i do think means something i'll bring it back up again here and it's that five nil defeat to lead mm. the mm. reason i say that is i just think after that it will have been like A shock. any slight bit of endeavor that West Brom had any slight bit of like do you know what I mean like oh let's go chase the game let's go try and be a bit expansive that's locked up like that's not happening now I think that 5-0 defeat would have really worried um Allardyce especially with us getting two wins on the bounce four goals in our last two games you might be thinking that we're starting to you know Lacazette's picking up a bit form maybe the team is as well um but then you know if it was so weird I wouldn't even be surprised if you know we turned up and they took the game to us do you know what I mean? Like these these yeah. matches are getting harder and harder to preview. You know, oh, we, they, do, they, we do them every week, every yeah. single match. We will do a preview, and I'm finding it more and more difficult to know what to expect. Who did we play <laughs> recently? That I thought Burnley. I thought yeah. Burnley would come and park the bus and try and grind out a point, knowing that you know what we're a bit toothless. Actually, mm. they kind of impressed us quite a bit. I'm not. They didn't necessarily have a go, but they. Yeah, actually yeah. Did Come, come and chase us and try and force us into mistakes and press us. And I thought, oh my God, like I, I did not see this coming. Um, nor did I see us totally pressing Chelsea. I thought we'd sit back, back three, counter. So it is getting difficult to to predict. Yeah, more, honestly, James, you're so right. It's getting more and more difficult to, yeah, to just understand. Even the Tottenham defeat, uh, the North London derby, I didn't predict... Um, Mourinho to be well. I didn't predict the team to be so clinical. I've ex- I didn't predict um, for Tottenham's yeah to sit back so much, and we really kind of we kind of did. We took it to them, and then they mm. were just literally two two chances. They they, they took up, they picked us yeah. off, and it's it's getting more and more tricky. The more the games go on, like I would never have said the game that Arsenal finally win and and get rid of this losing streak would be against Chelsea. Out all the yeah. out all the things we had um, lined up for November December. That was definitely not the game I was thinking. Yeah, this 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 is where we'll turn turn it around. So you're right, James. It's getting every week more and more more tricky to 
I, I completely uh, agree. And lo- last um, last thing to discuss, obviously, ahead of this game, um, has been real fixture congestion. Obviously, we had the Europa League, sort of that run of sort of three weeks straight before, after the international break. And most teams playing it, well, all teams playing in Europe had the same, to be fair. Um, the Carabao Cup, which obviously meant playing on the 22nd of December. What does that mean for, I'm looking at these four players in particular, but I mean, do shout out if you think there's any others who you think will miss out, should miss out, or whatever. Who starts? You know, you've got Aubameyang and Lacazette there. Lacazette rested for Aubameyang. Well, had a sore back, um, as people rightly pointed out. Um, yeah. Aubameyang, you know, he, he he got the call up front the other day. He's been playing up front mainly. Um, I think against Southampton, in fairness, he started on the left, but didn't. I don't, I don't, I don't really, I don't really know what you do with him. Martinelli's just come back from a knee injury. Sack has played a lot of games. What do you do, sir? Yeah, you know, it's a difficult one. Um, I think, I think Aubameyang starts. I think he, I think this is a game where he, uh, Arteta might feel he might be confident in Aubameyang to get a goal. This is where he needs. He needs. I'm going to be honest. Aubameyang needs confidence. I, I, not, I can't. I don't know that wholeheartedly, but just from what I've seen, um, like I said, so he's obviously coming in. He's been on form. I think Aubameyang is going to want a piece of that as well. Um, we relied on him so much in previous seasons. I think he needs to get back to. Just, just to just to score in ways. I feel like the fan base at times have been a bit, bit too critical on Aubameyang, and we're, we're quite quick to forget what he's done for us. So I just feel this, this is the game that he, he needs to be brought in, um, and he, he, yeah, he needs to score. I just, I feel like this is the one, James. I, I really do. With, with, with regards to the youngsters, the Martinez and the Sackers, I think Lacazette has also, also be rested. Um, he may make an appearance again, like he did um, last week. But yeah, the, going back to Saka and Martinelli now. For I mean, it will hurt me to see the see Saka resting because I'm just a big fan of him. I just enjoy seeing him play, and I get I get he needs to be rested. He's playing a lot of minutes, but come on, I I don't want to do that thing where he's young, he he can play, but he is young, he can still play. <laughs> I want to just I just like watching him play. Um, yeah, yeah, Mart- yeah, yeah. Mart- last before last last little bit, Marte. I think we need to be a bit cautious of him. I think he's a player that gets chopped down a lot. Um, he is definitely important and key for us, but. I think he can, he can be rested as well in in the game in the game against West Brom, but we'll see. We'll see. Your thoughts? Yeah. Um, I think Martinelli give him a rest. He's he started three games in a row. Came on against Everton as well. So so he's been involved in the last four fixtures, starting the last three. Um, in fairness, he's been coming off around the hour mark or just beyond the hour mark. So um, he has mm-hmm. been getting a bit of rest time. Um. I, I do. I think you keep Martinelli out. I think you start Saka just because he's been so good um, and you don't want to change that combination. I think Aubameyang, you know, he's got goals in him. So you're kind of all right with, you know, if we're going to beat West Brom, it'll be because it will have to do something very, either very clever or it just falls for us in the box or something. And if you've got both Aubameyang and Lacazette on the pitch for that, you know, your chances of scoring are better. I don't think they'll make it easy. I don't think this will be a, an open game at all. Um right. Okay. So, but then that's an argument for having Martinelli in the team. He's better in yeah. tight spaces than Aubameyang. Yeah. So, I was going to oh, say, do you, think, do you think it'll be a high-scoring game, or do you think do you think it actually is going to be kept tight throughout the whole? Like, do you think it's going to be a one-one? Because it's either going to go one way or sorry, one way, oh, one way or the other. It's really difficult in this little space. I won't, well, I won't, I won't make a score prediction, but I still need to think about it more. Um, yeah, of course, of course. But, but do you think? But it's I, like- I think it will be. I don't think there'll be much in it at all. Okay. I really don't. I'd be very surprised if one team wins by two goals or more. Okay. Yeah. Um. I- that's yeah. And I do just to back just back onto it. The, the debate about these four. I, I do think Abamyang will start, and I think it'll be Lacazette up front, Sack on the right, and Smith Rowe in the ten. Um. So we'll see if that if that happens. Yeah, I think I think you're right. There. I think with a two. I think maybe a two goal cushion. I, I expect to see that or more. I know it sounds quite we're quite different. Wow. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm expecting a two goal. I'm expecting around a two nil. Um, but I think Smith Rowe is actually like you just mentioned there, he, he's essential to be playing and you know you know who Sam Allardyce is, right? You, you know like I know, I, know yeah, I, know. Result, I know his last result was a five nil in fairness, and they've shipped eight at home, like as you can see there, Sam Allardyce. But I just I know he, he would have come like, in. He he would have come in and seen that and said, "You know what? We need to we need to tighten up." I know, I know, I know. I'm aware. I'm definitely aware of it. But I, I don't know what it is. I feel 
maybe it's the New Year spirit. I just feel the youngsters are flourishing, <laughs> and I just feel they can. Yeah. I don't know, Smith Rowe unlocks that unlocks that midfield and defence. Um, yeah, and we uh, and and we get an early goal. I think you'll be surprised about the scoreline. Okay. Yeah, that's that's, that's me. All right. Well, I mean that that's. That's the West Brom preview. <laughs> okay. I'm just I'm blown away by your confidence, but I like it. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, we've been very ne- not we've been negative, but we haven't really had anything to feed off to, to breed positivity recently at Arsenal I, I'm, until the past um, two games. So now I'm kind of I'm starting to get back onto the. Yeah, we're climbing up the league. This is it, Arsenal. <laughs> I hope you're right. I hope I really hope you're right. Exactly. Listen, I hope so too. And we'll, we'll find out anyway today um, against against West Brom. So thank you all for watching. This has been the West Brom preview against Arsenal. Um, hopefully this is it. We continue our run and we go into 2021 with plenty more wins. Thank you for watching. This video is supported by Profit Accumulator. Profit Accumulator helps you to earn extra money by doing something called match betting. Match betting isn't gambling. And when you do it properly, and I mean properly, you can't lose. Now you always see these promotions by bookmakers like Labbrooks, William Hills, Corals, offering a 50 pound bonus to customers. So you sign up and you might place a 50 pound bet on a coin toss landing on heads and a 50 pound bet on the same coin toss landing on tails. Now, whichever way it lands, it don't matter because you won't win or lose any money because you've covered all of the outcomes. However, you get the 50 pound bonus, so it's still 50 pound up. Now, lots of people try to do match betting on their own, but it's very time consuming and not always easy if you don't know what you're doing. That's where Profit Accumulator come in. Even if you don't know anything about sports, they walk you through everything step by step, showing you how to accumulate money into your bank account. So get involved right now. Click the link in the description and sign up to Profit Accumulator right now.